Today we're celebrating Sung Crime, the traditional Thai New Year. It's a time where you're beginning the new year and you stop to think about the people who are not beginning it with you. Relatives, friends who have passed away. And so you want to make merit for them. We've given food, we'll be taking the precepts later in the day. But right now it's time to meditate. Make your mind one. Because how do you send merit to somebody? What's through the mind? So the currents of the mind that the message gets out. We've done something good, we'd like to share it. And so make sure the mind is good too. Otherwise, no matter how good the message is, if the transmitter is faulty, then the message gets garbled. But if the transmitter is good, the message is clear and it goes far. At the same time, it's the attitude, it's the state of mind that you're sending. So we want one that has good value. As when you're giving a present to someone, someone you really care for, you want to find something that's really worthwhile, high value. So to make your mind of high value, make it one. Think of the durian in the market in Thailand. The times when there's lots and lots of durian, sometimes they just throw them away. They don't have much worth anymore. But if there's only one durian in the market, it's going to fetch a high price. In the same way, when, you're, when you have lots of minds, lots of thoughts, they don't have much worth. You think something and toss it aside, think something, toss it aside. You yourself don't treat it with respect. So why would anyone want to receive that from you? But if you treat the state of your mind with respect, make it one, then it has high value. And the fact that you're showing it respect means whoever receives that state of mind will want to respect it too. So to make your merit complete, get the mind still right now, get it focused. Make it one. And then whatever message you send through that mind will be a clear message, a good message. And we hope that it will re reach those who, as I said, are not starting the new year with us. Of course, they actually are starting the new year. They're, they're different people now. They've taken on different identities. So wherever they are, we still think of them. And who knows, in samsara, if we keep wandering around, we'll probably run into one another again. So send some good messages in the meantime, and try to make your mind of high value all the time. That means wherever you meet people, you meet them in good places, under good circumstances. That spreads the happiness around.